Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate the given definite integral as the limit of the sum. Okay. Now, in first part we have been given the integration of x with respect to x from the limit a to b. Okay. So, to solve this question, first of all we take the given definite integral. Okay. And we are going to apply this formula to solve the value of this given integral. This is known as evaluation of the definite integral as the limit of sum. Okay, and this formula states that if we have any function from the limits a to b, then its value is equal to limit of h tend to zero of h times f of a plus f of a plus h and so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h where n is equal to b minus a upon h and when limit of h tends to 0 n tends to infinity okay so this formula we are going to apply to solve this definite integral now here since the question is given as such that it it resembles the formula so First thing which we can write is that nh is equal to b minus a. Okay. And next thing, we have been given fx as equal to x. Okay. Now to calculate the limit of this value, first of all we will calculate fa, f, a, f of a plus h and up to the last term and its total. The main part of this question is calculation of the total of this value. If it is calculated in a systematic manner, then the question become easy. Otherwise, you have to struggle. Okay, so f a is equal to a. So first of all, we are going to calculate this value f a and f x is equal to x. So f of a would be equal to a. Next f of a plus h. Exactly, it would be equal to f of a plus h. The function is very easy. fx is given as equal to x. So we don't have to uh, solve any. Uh, uh, we, the solving is very easy in other words. And f of a plus 2h is equal to a plus 2h and so on up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h is equal to a plus n minus 1 into h. Now we are going to do the total of these terms. Okay. Now in left hand side I am going to get the total as f of a plus f of a plus h plus f of a plus 2h plus f of a plus n minus 1 into h that is the term inside the bracket in the formula is being calculated okay so this is equal to a plus a plus a up to n times okay so these terms would be n in number so a is going to add n times okay and this will be equal to h plus 2h up to n minus 1 into h because the first term doesn't contain any term of h and it starts from the second term so one term becomes less so I get this as h plus 2h up to n minus 1 into h okay now to solve this I'm going to solve this separately and write its value so it is a sort of an important information which we are going to solve this this value h plus 2h up to n minus 1 into h can be written as equal to h times 1 plus 2 plus up to n minus 1 into h. We know that the sum of this series 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1 is given by 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1 is equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2. You, mu you must be remembering the formula which we study in the arithmetic progression that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n that is sigma n is equal to n into n plus 1 upon 2 so one term less would be equal to n into n minus 1 upon 2 okay now this will be equal to h into n minus n into n minus 1 upon 2 so the sum of this value is equal to h times n into n minus 1 into 2 so if we get the sum f of a plus f of a plus h up to f of a plus n minus 1 into h is equal to n a plus 
h times n into n minus 1 upon 2. Okay. Now, the value of x dx from the limits a to b would be equal to limit of h tend to 0 and h times of this value and its value has been placed like this. Now, half of the question is done and half of the question depends upon how we calculate the limit. Okay. First of all, before calculating the limit, you should be knowing that there are actually two variables n and h. h tends to infinity, sorry, h tends to 0 and tends to infinity. So, we have to remove either one of them and to place the limit. Okay. So, we can change the limit from h tends to 0 to n tends to infinity or there are there can be a couple of ways in which we can do this question. So, what I am going to do here is something very uh, cool you can say something very nice. What I am going to do I am going to multiply this h inside the bracket to contain the groups of n h n h n h as many as possible like this. This h goes here I get n h into a this n h is written together this h goes inside the bracket n h minus h. Okay, so for because the value of n h is equal to b minus a, I get rid of both the variables. Okay, so placing n h is equal to b minus a, I get limit of h tend to 0 of b minus a into a plus b minus a times b minus a minus h whole upon 2. So we have only this value h for which the limit has to be placed and remaining all the values we have no problem whatsoever with limit of h tend to 0 and it doesn't give any indeterminate form also. So, this will be equal to b minus on placing the limit I am going to get this as equal to b minus a into a plus b minus a into b minus a minus 0 upon 2. Okay. So, this become b square the b minus a whole square so this is written as b square plus a square minus 2ab on taking LCM and solving this bracket I am going to get first of all I obtain here a b minus a square and when 2 goes here I get 2 a b minus 2 a square okay now you can see this 2 a b 2 a b cancels out okay this a square and minus a square solves to give me minus a square and this is equal to b square minus a square upon 2 so this is my required answer so fx so x dx from a to b is equal to b square minus a square upon 2